Hey guys, so I'm sure the title has already given away what this video is about. It is about my nail polish collection and accessories or accoutrements of sorts. And um, I wanted to just do a quick intro before we got into the actual collection. So you can skip ahead. I'll leave a little annotation of the time. I'll leave a link below so you can skip ahead to the actual collection part of the video. But I wanted to just do a little background real quick about my nail polish love and it all started years and years ago long before my obsession with makeup um, my nail polish love is over 20 years old yeah 20 year love it's been two decades yeah I was obsessed with my with polishing my toenails years 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 ago I used to play with my mother's nail polish so I've really been into that for years and it stepped up to doing my actual fingernails and I used to do acrylics and I stopped doing acrylics almost two years ago so these are my natural nails now and I just have fun with nail polish and colors and all that stuff so um, I'll answer a couple of questions that I'm sure I will get what is my favorite base coat my favorite of all time is Orly Bonder and this is a rubberized base coat which means it will um, hang on, hold on tight to your nail polish and keep and um, the wear time. It will hold on to your nail polish. No, the wear time, it will extend the wear time of your nail polish. I've had really good success with this um, base coat, so this is my number one base coat. As far as the strengthener goes, I've had trouble with thinning nails because of the acrylics and all that stuff. So for me, I use... Seche Vite, and this is, it's Seche, right? Yeah, not Seche Vite, Seche, that's the brand, and it's the Retain Perfect Nail. They have a Retain and a Rebuild. The Rebuild is to strengthen your nails, and the Retain is once they get to where you want them to be, retain them. So I have both, I have the Retain and the Rebuild, but I use the Retain now to maintain my strong nails. And uh, this is a really good strengthener, and like an enricher so it's really good that's what I use and for my top coat which is a really big deal I use my CND top coat it's CND and it's the what is it called the air dry top coat this is hands down the best top coat I've ever used I use the such a and I hate it I absolutely hate it for it stop it's a great top coat. It does dry fast. It does keep your nail polish shiny and it extends the life of your manicure. But it dries out really fast. It gets really thick and clumpy really fast. So within five uses, it's useless. So I buy a whole bottle and I can't even use half of it. So I hate the Sechevi. Hate it. Um, I started using this one. It also... Um, keeps dries your nail polish super fast it keeps it super shiny and it's shinier than the such a beat but I can use the entire bottle do you see where I'm down to and it's still not too thick that it disturbs my nail polish so really great um, it doesn't hold that much but you can use the whole thing so those are my top base coat um, strengthener and top coat my nail polish remover of choice is my Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus. This is what I use to remove my nail polish. It's gentle on my nails. It doesn't dry out my nail beds and cause my, you know, unhealthy cuticles and all that. So that's my nail polish of choice. I mean, <laughs> nail polish remover of choice. And then as far as maintaining cuticles and stuff, I just use any old cuticle oil. It doesn't matter to me which one I use. Any one works. Lotion, all that stuff. I don't really have a preference. I just use whatever is handy. So let's go into the nail polish collection after I just talked you to death. So hopefully you guys enjoy the nail polish collection. Again, it's been a 20 year, year old hobby of mine. So yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys. So here's an overall view of my nail polish collection and accessories. It's pretty much everything I use for my nails, be it nail polish, 
um, nail files, buffers, top coats, my UV lamp, my nail polish remover, all that good stuff, all piled into one little neat pile. And this is actually housed in a closet that I have, but I took everything out just to show you um, each thing individually. But I keep this in my closet. And if you can tell, the Rubbermaid container that's right here, I used to use that for my makeup collection, but now I found a different use for it, so I'm pretty much recycling storage items. So I'll go through each thing, each, le each drawer individually so you can see exactly what's in all of them. So let's go. So the first thing I'll go into is this white Rubbermaid container. There are seven drawers in all, and they all have enclosed lids like this one where you have to snap them open and this I got at Target so it's a seven drawer Rubbermaid container and it has wheels as well now I have an extra one here that is actually from a separate drawer set but I don't need all seven so I just took this one out and just put it on top of the drawers so this first drawer has my base coats and my top coats, you'll see all those piled in here. I have quite a few Seche Vite, which, as I mentioned, I definitely don't like because they get thick and goopy as you use them and they get dry. So my favorite top, coats, top coat is the CND, and if, then um, I have my Orly Bonder base coat. So this is the overall base coat um, nail prep drawer. I have my buffers in here, um, nail drops from this is the soup, well no this is a nail polish thinner actually for when nail polishes get too thick. I have um, like my Q nail halftime pol nail polish dryer. It's a drop that you drop on your nail polish to get it dry, dry but my CND top coat actually does pretty well with that. I also have these natural nail, nail ugh, sorry, my natural nail hardeners. These are like Q-tips that have liquid in them, and you um, break the Q-tip and then apply it to your natural nails to kind of strengthen them. I have like cuticle trimmers, nail clips, cuticle treatment, and different things in here. Just that prep my nails and I you know cuticle oil and all that good stuff so they're all like chucked in here no big organization at all this is just where I go to grab my cuticle cutters and different things to prep my nails so that's what this drawer is then I'll go ahead and take you to the top drawer here which we'll take out and this one has all my Oh, well, most of my OPI nail polishes. And what I do is I lay the nail polishes out like that, flat, and then, you know, I alternate up, down. And that's how I lay them out so I can definitely see the colors rather than standing them up, which they can't stand up in the drawers anyway because they're too tall. But this way I can see all the colors. So I have all my OPI nail polishes. And as you can see, when they lay for a long time they get that separation and you have to really shake them to mix it up so that's one thing to keep keep in mind I have my mats the suede polishes different glitters different things just organized by brand not necessarily by color but since I can see all the colors it's really convenient then the next drawer will take down this one has all my Orly nail polishes again laid out in the same way so I can see all the colors and as you can see they're really pretty the way they are laid out and then at the bottom I have my nails ink polishes so I started out with nails ink with their magnetic polishes which I absolutely adore and then I went ahead and got a few of their cream polishes this one I'm actually wearing right now this one is called Hampstead Gardens this is the one I have on my nails right now as you can see so I really love nails ink I love their polishes so that's my Orlean nails ink drawer then the next drawer whoo, that we have is my china glaze nail polishes and again all laid out just like that 
all my glitter nail polishes and such and such I also have a few MAC nail polishes I don't really have a lot of them because they're really expensive and they're not the best quality so I don't feel the need to collect those but I do love my China Glaze polishes and I have an, an extra nail defense um, strengthener in here just to fill up the void those are the China Glaze polishes then the next car I have I'm gonna make quite a racket this one is um, also an OPI nail polish drawer and it has the Sephora by OPI polishes which have the different style bottles they have that kind of bullet top so I keep them in a separate drawer and then I also have OPI polishes that didn't fit above and there's a couple of shatters of course my glitters and then below that I have these are finger paint polishes that finger paint polishes you find at um, Sally Beauty Supplies so I have um, you know like the glitter effect not the glitter effect the um, flake effect polishes from finger paints and a couple of their other polishes and then down here I have these are from Inglot and they're also that flake effect polish I have four of those from Inglot those are the only polishes I have from Inglot and then I have miniature sizes of a few nail polishes these are um, like my Orly the little tiny ones have a Sally Girl, two Sally Girls, and um, a SC one. And then, next, let's see if I can do this without filming any parts. This nail polish drawer contains my SC polishes. So I have my SC polishes. This is one of my favorite um, flake polishes of all time. This is. Shine of Times from Essie and it's a great flake polish. Love it. And then I have, these are my Color Club polishes. These are the magnetic polishes that, this one I'm actually wearing on my nails as well. This one is the Cop and Attitude Magnetic Nail Lacquer from Color Club. And this is the one that I'm wearing on my accent finger, so and then I have some other color club polishes all over here the SC polishes and then I have my two lonely Zoya polishes those are the only two I have and then below that I have all my gel nail polishes so um, these are the pro gel that are actually from Ulta and then I have these are what are these called the gelish which are from Sally Beauty supply stores so I have all the gel polishes in here which I actually will do a little review on if you want that and a little demo those are actually great what I do is I apply the base coat and the top coat and keep them on my nails as kind of like a hardener it's like a semi acrylic um, thing on my nails to keep them hard and keep them from breaking now this drawer um, contains all my drugstore nail polishes so I have my Sally Hansen hard as nails collection up there all those colors and I have wet and wild NYC um, some more Sally Hansen it's mostly Sally Hansen actually and then a couple of wet and wild and there's one lonely Revlon there are two cover girls too so yeah that's my Sally Hansen slash drugstore nail polishes and then the last drawer actually has my nail art um, polishes and pens and I'll show you what those look like so those are like the long nail polish the nail polishes with the nail art brush so that's stride right I have all those colors then I have the nail art pens from Sally Hansen and I have a couple of these Sally Hansen quick color quick nail polish pens I have these are from where are these from I have no idea but these are nail art pens as well 
and then I have a couple of Inglot ones. So I lied, I do have a couple of Inglot um, nail art pens. And then so on and so forth. And then under here I have my Conad nail polishes. So these are like the nail art things for my, yeah, my nails, my nail art pens and polishes. So I get into the other things, the bag and the other drawers right after this. Now on this side I have my UV lamp for my um, gel nail polishes and this one I got at Sally Beauty and I think I spent $39.99 or it may have been a little bit more expensive for that but if you want to do gel nails at home then you need to invest in one of those lamps either UV or LED version. The LED actually goes faster but the um, UV ones are cheaper so either or it's up to you. Under here I just have my nail polish remover my Zoya, this is my Zoya um, Remove Plus and I have the acetone um, this one is not pure acetone it's acetone with like nourishing things like vitamin E so when I, I can remove my gel nails with this and then these are actually comfort soles that I put in my shoes <laughs> so I keep them in here but I put I have a pair of these in every one of my shoes and I get these from Payless and they are only $1.79 so buy one get one yeah that's when I stock up on these to put in my shoes so my feet don't hurt and then I have my little rag that I pull out when I'm polishing my nails and then down here I have I actually keep kept the boxes for my special effects nails ink um, collection these are the ones with the solid nail polish and the overglaze which is the flake effect polishes and I kept the boxes and I kept them in here just because I think they're better kept that way. Then I have, um, this is a cuticle eliminator that I got from Sally Beauty. Just when I'm doing my manicure, I can um, soften my cuticles. Back here I have this gelish kit, which was a starter kit for my gel nail polishes. I have nail art, a set of nail art brushes that I haven't gotten into yet. And I have this sponge nail art kit from Conad that I haven't even tackled just yet. So that's what I have in this drawer right here. Then I'll go over to the actual bag on the side right there. In the bag I have, this bag I actually got from Sally Beauty as a free gift. Um, in the bag what I have is my cotton balls, that's for nail polish removal. And then down here, I have like a little container that I keep all my Conad, yeah, those are all my Conad nail stamp in plates and the nail stamp and, you know, the Conad doodaddles that I have in here. And then I have like a Ziploc bag that has all my glitters and studs and all these things that you can use for nail art. And I've collected quite a few of these over the years, and but I don't use them as much anymore. I should. I have my tweezers here, keeping them handy. But I don't use these as much anymore. I don't get too much into nail art. But you can use them in makeup too, so that's good. And then I have like an extra thing with all nail files. I have acrylic powder in case my nails break, um, cuticle clipper cutters and orange sticks and such in here and then I have fake nails which I used to put nails on if my nail broke and I needed it to match but I don't really use these too much anymore I don't because my nails do pretty well and then a little extra thing of cuticle sticks and then in here there's a little pocket I have a separator which I don't really use I have an extra Salon Effects nail um, thing. Then I have like a whole lot of stuff back here. And these are the stick on nail glam designs. And I have a lot of them. I have my nail art little, I think these are 3D flowers, yeah. Then I have my, whoops. 
my bling nail appliques that I love but I haven't used them in a while but I have all of those I have quite a few of those I have more of these stickers it's a lot of stickers that I have in here a lot a lot a lot that I have and then I have which don't laugh at this but these are my nail stickers and I paid I taped all of them onto paper so I can see them so I can skip through and I've collected these for years so I have quite a few but those are those so pretty much that was my overall collection that's everything that I've collected over the years as far as it relates to nails so hopefully that gave you a view into what my nail polish collection looks like so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye